Now there are a lot of ways of changing up your table. When it comes to the dinnerware, it's great having a classic simple dinnerware pattern with a silver or gold rim. Now one of the ways we can change up the table is we talked about the napkin being in the center. I like also if we use a napkin ring and place that on the center. That's really a nice way to place the napkin on the dinner plate. Also, let's talk about mixing and matching. So you've got your great set, but you may want to mix it up. So you might want to use a pattern like that, which works well. Take that, put that there, and then for your soup, you might want to put that pattern there. And that is a really great way to mix it up. Still very contemporary for a traditional dinner plate. If we want it a little softer, maybe we go with a flour plate and use that. And you can even mix them all up, but then put your salad plate on top. It's a really great way to mix and match dinner plates. You don't have to buy the complete set, but mix them up. And then for a more modern place setting, maybe we do this. And then we can use what's called a coop bowl. This is a coop bowl. It almost has a Japanese feel to it, and that would be great for soup. So if you want to make it a little less casual, there is your rim soup which is beautiful, and there's your coupe. Now also for the drinkware, when we talked about the drinkware always being above the knife, here we have our water glass, our wine, and our champagne. This could also be red wine, white wine, and champagne, or what we can do is use this as our water glass. It makes it a little more casual and breaks up the height of the glasses. Dessert's quite simple. We have our dessert plate, our fork on the left, our cup and saucer on the right, and our teaspoon off on the angle. I always like to have a tea service, so we really love to have a gracious tea service when you have the creamy sugar and your hot water or your tea or coffee, and that really just adds a very luxurious quality to your dessert table.